Hello, my name is Kane Munro. Today I'm talking about business and life advice in song lyrics. So just what are today's lyrics? And look at that, look how topical they are. Whoa. Now I'm not sure what is more surprising that I haven't once used a Billy Bragg lyric in the seven years that I've been doing a Friday blog on song lyrics, or that Anthony Albanese, our new Prime Minister of Australia, used the exact same lyric in a press conference this week they're both pretty surprising. Uh, as I said uh, to one of my work colleagues, who is also a fan of uh, Billy Bragg's music, if Albanese can uh, go and get a Frank Zappa lyric into a press conference, then I'll be really, really impressed. Even more impressed than I was about the Billy Bragg stuff. Anyway, on to the lyric. Albanese used it when he answered a question about Labor members receiving a promotion to the ministry uh, over others uh, who were not. And I think it's an excellent usage of the lyric and one I really concur with. Uh, the lyric is also really useful when you're thinking about your own situation as we are living through a period of time where it is super easy, it's extremely easy to actually compare yourself and your progress against what other people are doing. Now every time you open a social media app there is likely some level of comparison happening. Sometimes it's, it's literally staring you uh, back in the face, sometimes you know, with a shirt off, sometimes in a nice new car sometimes the flash new bathroom or, or maybe even like a fancy new home or house. Things you may want, uh, and really when it boils down to it, uh, it's really the, it may actually be the way you want to measure yourself. But it's a very common thing to do. So common in fact, the study in 2015 from the University of California showed that more than 75% of people reported feeling envious of someone in the previous 12 months. So how, how do you overcome this given it's so common? Now, I really like Warren Buffett's take on this as he asks whether people have got an inner scorecard or an outer scorecard where you compare with people. It helps if you can be satisfied with an inner scorecard. And to make this point, Buffett often asks a simple question, and that is, would you rather be the world's greatest lover, uh, but have everyone think you're the world's worst lover, or would you rather be the world's worst lover, but have everyone think <laughs> <laughs> the world's greatest lover. Now, I'm not sure what people have been putting in uh, Buffett's Coke, and I never knew that Buffett was such a randy old bugger, but what he is saying is so, so, so true. Basically, comparing yourself to others allows them to drive you or affect your behavior. And comparing yourself to others can leave you feeling frustrated, but crucially, uh, comparing yourself doesn't actually help in any way. It doesn't help in getting what you want or what you think you want anyway. Instead, it actually just takes away valuable time and valuable energy that could have actually been spent moving you towards what it is you want or you think you want. So what can you do to gain back some control? Now, there's a couple of things that I can suggest outside of stopping comparisons, which I know is very hard. Firstly, you can use gratitude. And yes, gratitude sounds a bit woo-woo, but is being thankful for what you have woo-woo? No, no, no. No, no, it's not. It's healthy and helpful to think of stuff that you are thankful for rather than the stuff you think you're missing out on. It's also about the positive versus the negative. I've tried gratitude journals, and while I love the concept, I've actually found it too rigid or too hard to continue with. Ditto gratitude jars, where you write down one thing you're thankful for each day and put it into a jar. Hey, while I've found both of those hard, Gratitude itself is really easy. You, all you really need to do is take a moment, literally no more than 60 seconds, to think of stuff you're thankful for when you begin to slide in that comparison vortex. It really is a game changer. As is writing down your achievements, again, the physicality of actually writing uh, this down is important to a lot of people, but something I've personally found really difficult. So the important thing really is, again, to stop and think about the achievements. Just think of your achievements, that's all. It doesn't matter, it doesn't even really matter what the achievements are. They can be really big achievements or they can be really small achievements. It just needs to be something that you're actually proud of. It can literally be as simple as the fact that you went for a run this morning, or in the case of uh, Alan Fitzgerald, a, a swim in uh, Port Phillip Bay, in the freezing cold, when you didn't really want to, and millions, millions of other people simply stayed in bed. You can be proud of that. Note, note here, I'm not comparing to what Alan did, just mentioning it because he's a, he's a cool guy. See what I did there with the water and the cold and stuff? Yeah, I know, it's an awful joke. But, but seriously, make your list of achievements, and finally, as Billy and Albanese said, Remember that you're not going backwards just because it looks like someone else might be going forward.
That's all for this week. I'll be back with more advice from song lyrics next week. Until then, stay safe, stay well, and try not to compare yourself to others.